Alrighty, so we're going to do a boiler setup here. <clears throat> so these are the blocks that you're going to need. Um, the variable part is how big you want your base to be with the fireboxes and how big your boiler area is going to be. Um, depending on how many boilers, you might actually need more fluid pumps. However, uh, the setup that I'm going to show you, um, I'll explain when you'll realize you need to do that or not. Uh, so I'm going to just grab all these. And uh, we're going to set this up uh, right here. Um, yeah, I think I have everything I need. Uh, I'm going to build it right here so that I don't have to screw around with... Uh, Too much. Uh, I'm gonna put that in the water. That's a bad idea, though. I'm gonna end up uh, clearing out a little bit of the water uh, because this guy produces pollution. If it's uh, surrounded on all sides, it's gonna explode. Um, so I'm just gonna fill this out, uh, and this is just from a setup that I had before. Um, so as you see, I have a firebox hatch and I have a boiler controller. And I'm just going to give this guy a little room here so it doesn't explode. And uh, so the boiler valve is where we're going to do the input of uh, input of water. So he is going to sit right there, and I need to get my hammer. Um, we're just going to put him down here just to set our output. And on the bottom side of these things, it's automatically the input. Uh, you can create more input sides. Uh, I'm not sure this is going to be the same. Uh, no, these ones don't remember. Sorry. There are future ones that do remember. It's been a little while. Uh, so boiler valve right there. Make sure you have the output set. Uh, output is orange. Uh, input is blue. Uh, I'm just right clicking with the hammer in case it's not clear. Let's look real quick so the mobs don't happen. And uh, put this back down. And then we're going to fill this guy out. Uh, and you can put what I'm about to do anywhere. So this boiler valve can go anywhere where there would be a boiler, which is over top of fireboxes. Um, I'm going to put it right here because that's going to be convenient. I'm going to put the uh, steam generator over on this side here. And you don't have to cover this up. This could be on the top if you really wanted to. You just need an infinite water source above it. And uh, this doesn't have to be complete. <laughs> yeah, what we mean by variable size is like this can go up more or it can go out more. Um, as long as you've got firebox underneath the boilers. And I mean, it could be like a long boy uh, instead of going up a few. Um, I don't know what the limitations are, but I know the more boiler blocks you get, the uh, more steam capacity you'll get, which uh, in turn gives more power output. Um, but in order to do that, you're eventually not going to be able to pump enough water with just one of these. Um, so that's a problem that you'll run into. Uh, so right here, the last thing that you need um, for the boiler is powering the fluid pump on. Now you will need a power source on the top here um, and I have that in my inventory. I'm using MV but you can use LV or HV. Um, you will need to connect power to this in some way shape or form. Uh, I may have forgotten to bring... no okay that'll work. Uh, actually I'm gonna just stick a solar panel on here. And as you see, it's got power. 
small amount of power. It doesn't need a lot of power. Uh, and eventually, you'll be able to create a power loop with this in the steam generator. Uh, so you can just connect a wire between the two things, and it'll just be powered. Um, I am going to grab this now. So this one is the only one that needs power. So for whatever reason, and I don't, I don't know why this is, um, I'm not an expert with mod packs, especially not immersive engineering. Um, this one here does not need power because it's not pulling it out of the world. That is the explanation I was given. Um, so all we need is to give it a redstone signal, just like this one. We all need the redstone signal, which is kind of silly in my opinion, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I'm just going to be staying here. Uh, another thing that I've experienced is that these ones have a weird thing where uh, the input on the bottom is the most reliable. Um, so that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, okay, so this is the end of the boiler portion of this. So in the future, you'll be able to connect this to not just what I'm about to show you, uh, this setup. Oh, where did that go? Blue pipes, okay. Yeah, uh, the steam generator that I'm showing you is not the only steam generator. There's the uh, IE diesel generator that will uh, also um, accept steam instead of diesel because apparently diesel is not great. Um, so you're going to search your JEI for a steam generator blueprint. And uh, it's going to show you this lovely thing here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and hold shift and click. And it's going to allow me to do this. Uh, actually. I'm going to redo that because I think that if I do it from this direction, it will be, nope, OK. So I'm going to put it right here. And you don't have to use this. You can build it however you want. Uh, I mean, you can you can build this without the blueprint that I'm putting down. It's just this saves me the trouble here. Uh, what did I do with the fluid pump? Oh, the fluid patch. There it is. OK. So I'm doing it right here because it's close to this, and I did not bring many fluid pipes with me. OK, it'll do the next layer for you. Machine controller. And then these guys. <clears throat> and then more steel. Iron plates. Oops. Not steel. Uh, and these can go in whatever direction you want. As you can see, it's trying to get me to do this. I think I can do any combination, any wacky old combination if I want to do something weird. And then that. And then it'll change color to show that you've got it. If you click on the um, machine controller, it'll show you steam generator. This include input. Uh, so that is where we do this. Uh, we're going to just do that. And uh, so at this point, we're very close. Uh, the only thing that we need is some good old fashioned, oops, got to put this back down, uh, coal, um, which I don't have on me. Um, coal gun, can I do it on this? Uh, and I'm going to grab some of this charcoal box um, and distribute it evenly across all these. If you put a hopper right next to it, it'll fill it all the way. But as you can see, now that it's got all three slots, it's actually going to start producing. And uh, you can see that it's doing this, which means that it's got power now. And if you come up here, you've got producing power. And uh, so you can take this um, and this and uh, get your solar panel back, put that there, and we 
he's got power. And that's that.